I'll be showing eight new features in Excel. This includes the new record actions to easily automate Excel, improve commenting and tasks, immersive reader, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is a handy shortcut to paste values in Excel. I have a table right here. I'm going to select it and I will do control C to copy. Now let's say I want to paste it somewhere else. I'm going to select a cell and I'll do control shift V and it just pastes the values. So it's a nice handy shortcut. You used to have to go and choose the little on object menu here and find the right option, or you'd have to do it from up here. Now control shift V works in desktop Excel. The second new feature is the ability to assign a task when leaving a comment in desktop Excel. I've got my Neil Pert signature drum set here. I'm gonna select this cell. We're low on stock. I will go to review and choose new comment right here. Now I'm gonna at mention someone and I'm gonna at mention myself in this case to assign me a task. So I've at mentioned myself right here and now I can assign to Mike Tholfson. I'm gonna check this box on and I'm gonna click send right here. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna assign the task to me. It's gonna show up in my normal task list. It also shows right here assigned to you. So let's say later I come on and I'm trying to find what's going on here. I can highlight and say, oh, there's a task signed to me. Now let's say we speed ahead and I actually finish this. If I go here, I can check this task off and it'll resolve it here in the spreadsheet, but it'll also resolve it in my own task list using Microsoft Tasks. So I will check that off. Task completed. Looks like I'm all good. The third new feature is record actions in Excel desktop. I'm gonna to go to the automate tab here and you're gonna see record actions. Excel has added office script, but now it lets you record macros or actions really easily. I'm gonna click this to open up the pane over on the right. Now what it's doing is it's starting to record. In this case, what I wanna do is, first I will select this row and I'm gonna turn on filters. I'll go to the home tab and I'm gonna go over here and drop sort and filter and choose filter. What you see is that it has toggle auto filter on worksheet, so it recorded that. Now let's say I wanna sort by quantity and stock. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sort smallest to largest. Now it records this one right here. I can do lots of other things. Maybe I wanna add an auto sum, maybe I wanna highlight different things. I'm gonna keep this one simple, and now I will click stop. And now it's created a new script, and I can run this in many different places. I'm gonna edit this right here and change the name, drop this down and rename, filter and sort, and you can add a description if you want, and you can have all sorts of information, and you can even go and share this with people. If you drop this down, you can share your script. I will keep this simple. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna reset the page and run this script to show you what it looks like. Now I've changed up my little table back to the way it was. I'm gonna go over here on the right and I'm gonna choose run. Let's see what happens with my script. And there we go, it just added the filters and it's sorted by quantity and stock. I can also have it still work in this case if I have a bunch of more cells. Let's try that. Now I've added an entire page of cells. I'm gonna go over here on the right and choose run. Very quickly, it sorts it and adds that filter. So it's able to adapt. And if you wanna look at the code, just go here into edit. This is very simple code. It selects the sheet, the active range, and then it applies the filter and then the sorting. You can create much more complex types of actions than I have here. And if you hit the back button, I can have all my different scripts. So recent ones that I've done, filter and sort my stuff. You can also look at samples that come with this. Things like create, sort, and format a table, at mentions in a status report, removing hyperlinks from a sheet, and lots of other options. So this can give you some nice ideas of how you might record actions in Excel. So all of this is on the Automate tab under Record Actions. What's also nice is any of your scripts can be quickly accessed right here. There's Filter and Sort My Stuff. That's the one that I created, so just one-click access. And if you have lots of them, here's the samples, Filter and Sort My Stuff, Shared Scripts, and All Scripts. The fourth new feature is an easy but useful one, and that's launching the Power Query Editor with a new shortcut. If you do Alt F12, that launches the Power Query Editor ready to go. The fifth new feature is immersive reader support in Excel for the web. Oftentimes you might have a spreadsheet that looks kind of like this with all these instructions, really dense text on the top. The immersive reader is an inclusively designed tool that allows you to access text and content as well as translate and make it really easy on the eyes to read content. I have a set of instructions here for my TPS report cover sheet. I'm gonna select these cells, go to the view menu and choose immersive reader right here. 
and then I'll make it full screen. The immersive reader reduces distractions and I can hit the play button here to read this out loud if I want. TPS report cover sheet instructions. I'll hit pause. I can make the voice speed faster or slower. I can also change the way the page looks. So I can increase spacing. That can help some people with visual crowding. I can change the background color. A lot of people have challenges reading with a pure white background. I can also make the text much bigger if I want. Maybe I just want to see a few lines at a time. That can be helpful for people with dyslexia. I'll make this blue in this case and I will go to reading preferences. I can translate this into many languages. So I have 116 options. Let's say in this case, I wanna translate it into Spanish. Right here, I'll choose Spanish and choose document. Now all the text is in Spanish and I will hit play. Instrucciones de la portada del informe TPS. I can also go and choose reading preferences and line focus. Some people need to just focus one line at a time. The up and down arrows help. I can still read out loud. Asegúrese de usar las nuevas hojas de portada del informe. And I can choose three lines right here, or I can choose five lines. If I want to go back to English, I can hit original and everything translates in real time back to English. All of this is built into that immersive reader and I will exit. I can also select cells like this and also pull them into the immersive reader on the view tab just like this and it works the same way. The sixth new feature allows you to see the data that's populated into a formula with handy tooltips. In this example, Michael Scott has an F and I'm using a V lookup formula. I'm going to click right here to get into the VLOOKUP formula. And you've seen all these different parameters that you can look at in the past. But now if I click on lookup value, what it does is see how this little 42 bubble is highlighted above C11. So it shows you the data that's coming there. If I click on table array, the same thing. It highlights all the little data that's actually in this grading scale table array. So this is really useful, especially with complicated formulas in a really big spreadsheet. You can click on any of the parameters and you will get that tooltip to hover right above what you're looking at. The seventh new feature lets you access any of the Excel menus by a search box when you right click on a cell. Let's say I'm looking for the analyzed data to go and look at this table here. I'm just going to right click on Dwight Schrute and right here it says search the menus. So I'm going to click and I'm going to type analyze and there's the analyze data command. I'm just going to click this. And over on the right, it launches the analyze data command. I don't have to go hunt and peck across all of the menus up here at the top. I can access any of them just by the right click and say, search the menus. The eighth new feature is an accessibility improvement. If I go to the insert menu, let's say I've got a menu with a lot of different choices like shapes, for example, I'll click this and drop it down. It used to be that I would have to navigate by arrow one shape at a time. If I want to go way down to the bottom, I would have to right arrow maybe a hundred times. What I can do now is using the tab key, I'll hit tab. And right there, you see that black box. As I hit tab, it jumps to these different groups. I can still use my right arrow and my left arrow and the up and down arrow. But instead of having to go one at a time, now with the tab key, I can jump by groups. And if I do shift tab, I can jump the groups right back up to the top again. This works in any of these larger drop-down menus with lots of choices and groups. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.